Japan's the only country in Asia that got direct access to the F-35 right off the bat, and now they're basically saying, thanks for the tech, we'll make something even better. But it's not all as smooth as it sounds at first glance. Picture this, Japanese engineers sitting around a table saying, we're gonna build the FX, the coolest fighter jet in the world. Then they start pulling out blueprints with everything all at once. Stealth better than a B-21. Laser straight out of Star Wars and drone control with a single button. But you know what happened in reality? The moment they got to the part about that combat laser, the problems began. Because how do you cram something the size of a small pickup truck that guzzles as much power as a small town into a jet that's supposed to fly faster than Mach 2? Not even Godzilla movies got that crazy. The fact is, experimental lasers weighing several tons are seriously tough to squeeze into a jet that also has to stay stealthy. So here's the dilemma. You want a jet with near-zero radar signature, but then you bolt a giant laser turret under its belly, and just like that, your stealth goes out the window. But that's not all. The Japanese were seriously scratching their heads over how to power the laser so it could do more than just fire a couple of shots it needed to actually function in real combat. Because after just one shot, that kind of laser drains its battery almost like your smartphone after a full day on TikTok. And then there's the engine, another fascinating piece of the puzzle. They're planning to install an all-new XF91 turbofan co-developed with the IHI Corporation. It's supposed to give the FX super cruise capability without afterburners similar to the F-22 Raptor, but also provide enough juice for all those electronic toys and the combat laser. And here's the big question. Will it have enough thrust and power to handle all this gear?